Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Crusader Kings 2, The Last Carling, with me, Bitter Steel. Now, where we left off last time, we were in quite of a sad state with our good, uh, the good son of Herbert, Udis, or whatever the fuck that name's supposed to be. The man has consumption, not great, and is very stressed. I, I would be stressed too, if, if I had consumption. In, in 1094. Eh, plus, the, the, there was some, some horrible mistreatment going on there. So, I feel like this episode is going to be more or less about the man's life. He's 34, and I'm not too sure we can add a lot of years onto that. On the upside, he only has one son. So the inheritance should at least be simple, but knowing this game, it'll, it'll kick the bucket right after knocking up with his wife, and she'll she'll just spit out another son. Oh well, let's kick things off. But before we do, if you like this kind of video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It would help the channel out tremendously, and we're off. Well, ooh, that's a. Uh... Got ourselves a bit, bit of corona going on here. What's this? Wow. Okay, so so it's not just me who has consumption. The whole of the British Isles has either consumption or the slow fever. Nice. And there we go. We've kicked the bucket. Age 34. Died of consumption. Great. Never succeeded. And making a name for himself. Most notable deed. Participate. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, then. Count Herbert's six years old. So be it. I, I just hope this country or county or whatever do doesn't fall apart. At least we'll have a young ruler to start off with, I guess. Uh, well, an alliance might be handy. Let's recover. I can always recover. Ooh, ooh I, I don't want malcontents. I want someone who's competent, but who doesn't hate me. He's envious. You can be my spy master. Please don't suck at it or betray me. I very much wish to remain alive. Thank you. Oh, old treasures, sentimental reasons. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, I'll keep it. It's not that much money. A lot of stuff in the... In the armory. No, not the armory. The treasury. That's the one. Treasury. Ah, blah, blah. Ah, my mother has agreed to an alliance. She better. Damn it. My council is discontent. It's no surprise there. Ugh. I if I die now, I think it's game over. Uh, some intrigue. And maybe I should start looking for a, a good betrothal. N nothing really interesting there. Let's just ride out this... Uh, oh, oh! Deus Vult! So, the Crusader pilgrims to the Holy Land suffer all manner of abuse, and the routes are not safe. In order to protect the pilgrims and secure Jerusalem for Christ and the faithful, His Holiness Pope Eugenius III has accepted the possibility of an outright invasion by joint Christian forces. This signals a new era of large-scale Christian holy wars, the Crusades. Ladies and gentlemen, we have peak Crusades. That might be interesting. Maybe we can carve out a little Crusader Kingdom for ourselves, if uh, France doesn't pan out for us. But, uh, ideally, ideally I'd like to... Oh, maybe I'll go into hiding. Yeah. Ideally, I would like to, uh, get my way with France. Hmm, <laughs> The faithful prepare for war. Uh, sure? Sure? I'm faithful. Crusade beneficiary. How would I give my titles away? Well, seems obvious. 
Why, why am I not doing? Why would I not give away my titles? Yeah, you, you can have. You, you can be my beneficiary. Oh, my spy master, huh? No, he's not my spy master. He's just an unrelated uncle. Hmm. I'll stick to my previous decision. A daughter was born. Adele. Yeah, they, they sure like their Adeles. Uh, my council. Where is my council? Summon the council! Uh, my spy master. I, I must make this man like me. Do you like me now? Yes, he likes me now. I, I, I don't want an angry spy master, really. That's just, that's just bad business, yo. Because that man will have my head. And I only have one head to lose. Rather, rather keep it on there. For... Well, I also have consumption. Oh man! Ooh, this is gonna be. Ooh. All right, we'll we'll see where this goes. Simon de Poitou. Apparently, this man has. Hold up. Well, she moved on quickly. Okay then, mother. Okay then. At, at least tell me you're, you're still giving me your titles. No? No? Okay, so I'm not getting any titles then. Okay. Maybe I ought to uh, make sure good old Simon here. Doesn't, uh, doesn't make it to adulthood. Eh? Eh? Well, I'm still heir to the Duchy of Aquitaine. Better, better something than nothing. Uh, I want to be affectionate. It's the only good option in there. Oh, wait. It's my uncle. <laughs> my, uh, my uncle's 12. Okay, dear uncle, you can be affectionate. <laughs> Why does everyone have consumption? That's just terrible. Oh, seek treatment. Uh, please don't mess it up. Oh, thank God. Whew, we'll be we'll be very bad. If, oh, oh, what's this? Call to arms. Yes, crusade for Jerusalem. There's fools. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll raise what troops I have and, and pledge them to the cause. Theos Fult are away to the Holy Land. Yes. To the Holy Land. Ooh. Ooh, it's a long walk. Let's get on it then. I can't even build boats. Nor can I use someone else's boats, I think. No. <laughs> okay, boys, we're off the war on foot. Goodbye. Jesus Christ. Why does this man want to kill me? Why are you? Why are you so angry with me? Here, have a gift, and, and stop doing whatever it is you're doing. Please don't kill me. I like being alive. That's pretty much all I have left going for me right now. Let's speed this up again. I die, I die. I'd rather not though, but at least, at least make it to adulthood. Oh, thank God, sweet Jesus, we've survived. We have awoken, rejuvenated, and after some moments of disbelief, I realize that my fever has passed and my appetite has returned. I have survived consumption, which is in itself quite the miracle in 1097. So, yeah, good job. We, we now have a more positive outlook on life. And I like my mother. Good. Okay. Ooh, he's a handsome and an attractive nine-year-old. Let's not get too Epstein up in there. Nope. King Huge and Eric. Okay, you, you do whatever you feel you have to do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Denmark. Denmark at least looks historical. Norway looks okay. That, that, that's not Estonia, sir. That, that is not Estonia. 
That is Sweden. Why does that say Estonia? The tributary of Estonia. Oh, Sweden. Oh, Sweden. Scotland still messed up. England. England still has a foreign king. This one's Danish. Svente de Serpere. Okay, Svente. You do what I you must do. Uh, sometimes this game is just just completely bonkers. Am I losing money now? No, I'm still gaining a little bit. New realm. Uh, some cans have settled down. Oh, interesting. The Peshinish Peshnichin Something irrelevant. Okay, so we're doing a little bit of warfare here. Let's just tack on to an actual army. For security reasons. Oh, oh, run away! Run away! The Pope has won! King Eckbert. Who's King Eckbert? The Crusader blood of King Eckbert. The boy is 12. Uh, fine. Good job, boys. Fine. Oh, oh. And immediately, we got ourselves a little bit of jihad going. The holy city of Jerusalem, where the prophet was taken up to the heaven, has fallen to the infidels. His magnificent Caliph Akhlab will not let this stand and has declared that another era of great conquest is upon us, such as was the case in the days of the first caliphs. The Dar al-Islam must be defended. All righteous Muslim men should prepare to join the ranks of the Mujahideen for the upcoming struggles. Okay. My money is on them immediately declaring a jihad for Jerusalem which is in no position at all to defend itself. Ah, Bektashi soldiers, okay, so they're starting to get their holy orders, I I guess. Uh, Jerusalem. I mean, it's nice to see the country pop up, as, as this is Crusader Kings, and, and we now have a Crusader King, but that state, oof. That is a... Uh, they're hella weak. Well, at least he might have an alliance with the, the Holy Roman Emperor. Through his father. Uh, let's set some more focuses. Childhood, duty... I, I Like I said, duty is preferable. I think so, at least. As it will give you more, more options down the line. Yeah, more troops. Always nice. Because I am going to be stealing... Stealing some more titles. A land renamed Lotharingia. Gottfried of Lotharingia. Okay. Oxandria. Hmm. By the name of its most popular city, Breda. Uh, sure. Okay. Whatever. Good for them. <sighs> onwards, ever onwards. What's, what's what's this Normandy? No, I don't care. There was a defensive pact. Good for you, I suppose. Let's keep the ball rolling here. Uh, do I have Chancellor? Maybe I should appoint a. Oh yeah, I, I can. Yeah, there we go. Terrible news: a jihad for Jerusalem. Yeah, that's, that's not gonna go well for Jerusalem. I think every state that... Oh, no, no, no. They, yeah, well, they don't have the negative modifiers, but they're still at war with the Caliph. The Shia Jihad. Yeah. It's a bit silly that he doesn't get a peace treaty because that country's in no state to defend itself. Anyway, not my concern. Oh, the assassins. Always found them to be an interesting faction. Okay, so I have nothing going for me. 
maybe a bit of warfare, a bit of intrigue. A bit of intrigue sound, seems interesting. Let's come out of hiding. We are we are a big boy who don't afraid of nothing. Oh, we we can marry ourselves into a kingdom title. Yes, please. Now, if this goes well, we'll elevate ourselves to kings within four generations. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, Betroth can marry. Oh, my uncle's ginger. A ginger carling. Ooh. Ooh. Bye. Ugh. Should I go into hiding? Is this, is this a powerful plot against me? Nah. I'm a big boy. I'm not afraid of them. Ooh, yes. <clears throat> uh, I'll take it. Strong claim. On the county of... Claremont. This one. Uh, I think I can take whatever she has on the mainland. Let's, let's reassign this man. Just improve some diplomatic relations here with uh, with the king. I'd like the king to be happy while I go tearing shit up. Uh, declare war. Claim Claremont. No, no, no. Let's evaluate this first. How many troops can she levy? 1.5k, of which a substantial number is in Somerset. Wow. Ooh. My levies fill up. I can, yeah. Another jihad? Really? Oh, so there's now a Sunni? And a Shia Jihad going on against Jerusalem. You're fucked, mate. You, uh, you enjoy that title while it lasts, because you're not going to see your 16th birthday. Ooh, no. No, don't think so. <clears throat> I don't think his father is even coming into the Vendum. No. We're told the Sword of the Blessed Virgin is doing jack shit to defend Jerusalem. Oh, game. Game, 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 game. Why? Why? Why must you be like this, eh? Uh? Why? Are you a silly Frenchman? No, oh, no. It's German, huh? Charitable. Do I want to be charitable? I'd rather be ambitious. Yes, I'm ambitious. Am I at war? What? What's this? Why are we now at war with Germany over the Duchy of Poitou? But I am the heir to the Duchy of Poitou. Or no, wait. Uh, what am I the heir to? The Duchy of Aquitaine. I want my Duchy of Aquitaine. Don't take my Duchy. That's my mother. Oh, so she inherited her sister's titles, I suppose? That one goes to me. That one goes to Simon. And that one also goes to me. Maybe we should ensure she disappears sooner rather than later. Before she can pop up more sons split the titles between good one Ugh. okay um thanks Engelbert great job yeah it's so hard to get good help these days so hard to get good help do I want to get involved oh what oh it's over he's been overthrown uh oh this one failed, because the Sunni came late. This one was successful. Well, he did make it to 16 before getting kicked out. And 
Victory in the Jihad for Jerusalem against King Egbert of Jerusalem. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Everybody got kicked out. Ah, uh, the RNG giveth, the RNG taketh away. Meanwhile, the Germans are tearing shit up in France. Hey, let's just stay out of this for now. County of Poitiers. The Duchy of Poitou. Okay. What is all of this? Uh, so now she just has one duchy left, of which I get one, I guess. Still better than getting nothing, but I'm a bit disappointed. We have a lot of work ahead of us if we are ever to clean up this map, because look at this mess. Border gore, ladies and gentlemen. That is extreme border gore. I don't want to look at it anymore. I think our troops are almost filled up. It just needs the garrison to fill up for the for the levies to then fill up, and and I can go to war with this this bunch of very fine people who train troops. You raise taxes. You will suck up to the pope. Ah, cultural tech. Cultural tech is fine. And with the threat of the Germans gone, I'm just going to declare war for Clermont. War! We're going to war! If I can defeat you piecemeal... I can negate your numbers advantage. And without your numbers advantage, I have this one in the bag. So defeat them. And before she can ship over more troops, I'll, I'll have this over. Good. I don't know how many troops she can ferry across, though. That's well, more than I had guessed. So, let's play this little trick here. And get some troops back. And engage them there. Would that be okay? I, I sure hope so. Maybe some additional vassal levies. Yeah, let's fight him there. Uh, well, they don't have full morale. It's gonna be a lot tighter than I had hoped. But I, I seem to be winning okay. For now. I guess I'll, I'll just keep beating down whatever army they can muster. Yeah, they don't have much left in there. Or in there. I'll, I'll just start sieging this down. I don't think they have enough to uh, perform a successful siege of any of my territories. Oh, the Regency has ended. I am an adult and I'm fairly decent at spycraft. I'll make this, oh my god, yeah. With a mustache like this and nice ginger curly hair, I must be the seducer. Yes. Mm. Ambition. Uh, I'll groom an heir or become king of France. No. No. I would like. Let's just, let's just groom an heir. It's a, it's a nice, safe start. I'll keep up the siege. More sieges. And. This war is pretty much over. Offer peace? No, she doesn't want peace yet. Get my... Well... No, I, I don't need her help for this. Do I? No, I don't. Okay, what wars are we in? The English, French, the Jour war over Somerset. Sure, they can have Somerset. I don't care. And the Danish holy war for Pomerelia. Also, don't really care at all. Uh, Ibo, I guess. Yeah, sure. Take that flank. Raul! Take that flank. And myself, I will not be participating. Because I'll be far, far too busy 
diddling people. Speaking of, find some characters to diddle. Uh, women, yes. Find ourselves some women. No, we're not, let's not diddle that one. Something attractive, genius or something. Hmm. Hmm. Quick. Seduce. Yes. You will grind. Mine. Oh. Did you marry my wife? Since she is a queen, uh, I'll take the prestige. It's going to be very. Uh, ooh, need more practice. Okay, this war is over. Offer peace. And we now have three counties. Yeah, I'm pretty good at this. Am I in a position to steal the duchy? I can, but the request would be denied. Why would it be denied? Because he does not like uh, Oh well. I hold three of these counties now, with the last one coming eventually. Oh. Seek an ally among our friends. Uh, yes. Discreetly flirting. But on this note, and it's, it's quite a high note with our three counties now, and in good health, on this note, I will leave you here for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like down there, maybe comment. If you didn't like the video, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you next time for another episode of The Last Carling with me, Bittersteel. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.